Howdy guys, this is a bit of an unboxing and unpacking of a Hafco AL320G lathe which is, it's got a 320 swing and 600mm working length which in imperial terms is a 12 by 24 machine. Uh, it's all Chinese made um, and I've had a bit of a spin of it and compared to you know the MCO that I was using before it's it's typical Chinese quality but I think it'll be sufficiently rigid um, to do the job and my plans are really to convert it to a CNC machine. Um, it's got a one horsepower motor which is roughly 750 watts and it weighs a ton so you can see here I've got my um, my mates engine hoist and we're just moving it off the pallet uh, the idea just because the the pallet was too wide to get the hoist legs around it we're shifting it back and then we'll reposition and give it a lift in a couple of ways we're, we're slow learners but we eventually figured it out So we used a, a soft sling on the rear bedway and it was pretty close to the centre of gravity but as you'll see the machine was very front heavy so after a bit of gentle persuasion and a lot of balancing we decided to uh, move all the stuff out and then you'll see we come back with two slings on it to give it a bit more stability. Yeah, the two slings helped a fair bit. Um, the machine weighs about 200 kilograms which is roughly 450 pounds and our engine hoist was rated to carry 1.25 tonne but at the setting we had it was about 500 kilograms. So it was more than capable but it was, um, it was a heavy beast to move around in a confined workshop. So the CNC plans, I'll be using NEMA 23 steppers uh, with a 1604 ball screw on the, on the main um, carriage and for the cross slide it's a 12mm ball screw and I'm planning to use a Centroid Acorn uh, controller. They weren't the cheapest but they certainly looked like they're the best out there and the easiest to implement. You know, Linux has its appeal in terms of hackability and uh, cost, but when you compare it, when we're here in Australia buying things in you know, Pacific pesos, the price difference isn't massive. Um, and I just think it's a lot more refined. So we finally got it close to the position one one more lift to do and we end up securing it to the base and th this is the base that comes with the well you buy it separately but it's suited to this machine so we uh, shorten the slings to give us a bit more lift with the engine hoist and you can see it's reasonably well balanced really I'll give you a minute of silence to wash a little bit and then towards the end I'll just wrap up again. Yeah, so this took a little bit of jiggling around but 
once we got close we dropped two bolts down hand tighten them and then we could lift the whole unit at once and there's a lot less nerve-wracking when you don't have you know 200 odd kilos hanging a meter in the air brand new lathe you don't want to drop it on the concrete floor so you see we just, we just fasten those two bolts lift it up and she's in and ready to go so I'll, uh, the next video I plan to do a bit of a review of it uh, the pros and the cons and give you a bit of my reasoning on why I purchased it but anyway thank you very much for looking and watching the video and hopefully we see a few more of these over the coming weeks thanks again